so nice to talk to both of you today. This is just an incredible movie with a, a great story. And I want to ask each of you how you got involved. Ariana, you've done a work for Disney, of course, in Stuck in the Middle. Did you need to audition or did they hire you based on that? So I did have to audition because they're two like very different things. Like the Stuck in the Middle was very quick-witted and comedy-esque. And then, of course, the one only Ivan is more soft and emotional. Uh, so I did have to audition. Um, but yeah, I just love the Disney family. And it was really cool to be a part of such a beautiful story with a great cast. Brooklyn, great job of voicing Ruby. And, and tell me, how did you get the role? I read the book. I read the script. I auditioned, and I got the role, and I was like, I remember that call, and I cried, I danced, <laughs> and then I cried. <laughs> Ariana, your character is really good at um, interpreting what Ivan has to say. If animals could speak, what do you think they would tell us? Well, uh, regarding what I wanted to say, obviously, I kind of was his voice and guided him into expressing what he really wanted in life, um, along with like the other animals. He obviously helped the other animals as well. Um, but the animals that are being taken care of, and they're not in like held, held in captivity, um, I'd probably say they're living a pretty chill and cool life. But the animals that are, are in captivity, in captivity like Ivan and the rest of the animals were. He'd probably just say that he wants the life he used to live before he was in captivity in the wild with beautiful lush grass with his friends and just like living his wildlife in the forest or whatever they decide to live in. Um, but yeah, definitely I feel like Julia guided him into expressing what he really wanted and I think that was really cool. And Brooklyn, how did you get into the role of Ruby the baby elephant? So there's this one elephant photo that the director, Thea, um, showed me, and I, I looked at it, and I, I thought, I, was, I took that elephant and I added Ruby to it to make this one character to see her in my mind. And I, and that was basically what, it was almost like before they said, like, go and like the three beeps went on like the microphone. Yeah connect with Ruby and then it just went on from there. Do either of you have pets at home? Yes, I have two rescued dogs. They're the sweetest animals in the world. I love them so much. Um, so when I was working with uh, uh, Ivan and being Julia, I thought of them in my mind. I was just like, you know what? Talk like you're talking to Luna, my dog. Or talk like you're talking to Foxy, my other dog. Um, so yeah, I definitely have a strong connection with my pets for sure. I have two dogs, but one, they're both my mom's and my parents, they got, the, my dad got them for my mom, basically, but um, I, I've, I've only had, like, a strong connection with them now, because, um, because when I was littler, it was kind of like, I wasn't really, <laughs> they were older, I didn't want to play with them, because they weren't very playful with me, except for when he wanted my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> which was the super cutest which was the cutest video in the world but um and now like I have like a bond with my one Harley and he which with the one Harley and like me and him just like to cuddle or he'll come up to me and cuddle with me and it's like the cutest thing ever <laughs> I want to ask both of you has this movie changed the way you look at animals in any way whether they're pets or in zoos well, I've always loved animals, and I've always had a special place in my heart for them. Um, so watching this movie just made them made me love them even more than I already did, and it made me want to help them in every way possible. I wanted to donate to charities, and I wanted to spread awareness in all all the ways I can. So I think this movie has a beautiful message, and no animal should ever be held in captivity, no matter what. They should always live the life that they really deserve, and us people need to speak for them because they obviously can't talk. So we have to be the voice for them and protect them because honestly, I mean, animals are just amazing. So I want to ask, have the two of you met each other before? Yes. Um, yes. Um, I was on the set in Florida because they were shooting the last scene of the film. Well, one of the last scenes of the film in, well, yeah, the last scene of the film in Florida. 
And so I got to come on set and I got to meet Ariana like very, I think it was like a few times like on and off. We said hi and I was like, blah, 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 blah. And then we, they would get back to shooting and I would, you know, go back to the tent. And yeah. um, we met a, a, a few times, but this is like kind of the first time that we're really just being, we're being able to like talk a lot with each other and like find yeah. more out about each other. I hope I can be here again because sadly she just visited the set, so I want to like hang out with her one day. Um, but yeah, she's so sweet, and hopefully we can hit it off one day in person. Yeah. Now, do each of you have a dream role that you'd like to play in the future? Oh, there's so many I would love to play. Um, I'd probably want to kind of do a character that kind of resembles the character Natalie Portman played in The Professional, um, just because I love that character because she's a strong, independent girl, and, and she kind of takes care of herself before she kind of, like, hang, hangs along with, like, the hung along with the other character. Um, but, yeah, kind of, kind of just, like, a strong, powerful girl, um, and, you know, a superhero, hopefully, maybe, like, a Latin superhero. That could be really cool, too. <laughs> There's two roles I would want to play. Young Rey in Star Wars and young Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. Oh my gosh, I love The Hunger Games so much. I have a poster up in my bedroom. Like, uh, I, I, want, I love it so much. It's probably a condition that I have. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I've always dreamed of like being the young Katniss Everdeen. The girl on fire! Yeah, totally powerful roles for you two guys. I hope your wishes come true. And thank you so much for talking to me today and for your roles in this fantastic movie. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day.